Hey guys, welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. This is the Zeus 7. It's my uh, my best rocket, I think, so far. If you may notice that it seems a bit odd and weird looking. Look at these side thrusters here. I moved them out and that kind of thing. Um, I've got these big uh, solid boosts down the bottom. These uh, put out quite a bit of power, but one of my test flights, I had them all firing at once, and that was too much power too quickly, and I hit the sound barrier and I just exploded. Well, at least I think it was a sound barrier, it was like, like like 300 meters per second. So, but unfortunately it's in the shape of a swastika. You may notice that it's the German, Nazi German symbol. Well, it wasn't, you know, for 3,000 years it meant peace and that kind of thing, but then some idiot, Hitler, decided to use it as his symbol for war and destruction. And now everyone hates it. Sad story. Anyway, um, I th I've test flight, um, I've tested this thing out. Uh, once or twice before it's gotten pretty far out, but then you know didn't have enough fuel or it just things didn't detach like this For instance, let me zoom in for some reason it didn't like detaching by itself Even though it's in there. It didn't want to detach so I had to fire it manually I had to detach it manually just by right clicking and pressing detach Anyway, I think that the Zeus is ready for firing uh, if you didn't know, uh, Zeus is the Greek god of th thunder and lightning. It's like Thor of the Greeks. Anyway, let's go for a launch. Okay, it's early morning, well, late uh, late morning, I suppose. And we are on the launch pad, and I also forgot to mention something. I put wing slits on the side here. They're just for stability to keep me straight, that kind of thing, so I don't need to use the thrusters while in atmosphere so I can turn them all off, but that will take too long, so I'm just going to turn this one off. Okay, um, I'm quite sure this uh, this launch will go okay. I've test fired this, this version before, um, Zeus 7 before, and it went okay. So, you might be wondering why I called it Zeus. This is why. Because it sounds like bloody lightning. Okay, we're getting prepared, getting ready to launch the next stage. And launch them. Okay, we're building up quite a bit of speed. A bit of a waste of fuel, but it should be fine, I think. And release a swastika. Yes. A perfect, absolutely perfect attachment. We've got our three rocket boosters firing now. We can bring that down. Uh, keep, we want to increase speed slightly. Wow, we've... I didn't even realize how far we'd gone. I'll turn on the these. I didn't realize how high we had gotten. And gotcha. We want to stay at this 45 degree angle while we're building uh, speed and momentum, like uh, westwardly momentum. Usually I'd be going... What the hell was that? What was that? I don't know. Usually we'd be going uh, east, but since this is, um, we're going to the sun, we want to go west, so we can kill more momentum, like yeah, kill two birds with one stone kind of thing. Okay, once we get around 50,000 meters, uh, I'll be putting us into a horizontal uh, burn. I hope it's okay. Actually, we're losing quite a bit of speed going up. Surface momentum is still increasing with orbital momentum. Ah, I suppose so, we're going okay. Okay, we're at about 50, so I'll be bringing us horizontally-ish. Okay, I'll take it around 20 degrees. And release those. And release this manually. What does this do? That fires them off. That's not good. Okay, I'm going to put us into a direct vertical. And kill the engines. Activate engine. Okay, we're still going up. When we get to our apoaps, apoapsis, we want to create a bit of an orbit less than that. Alright, I'm gonna increase our time warp a little bit and slow us down 
and activate the burn now. It doesn't really matter if the orbit isn't absolutely perfect. And kill engines. That's okay. Okay, now that we've got a pretty stable orbit around Kerbin, we want to add a maneuver towards this way. And we want our periapsis to be as close to the sun as possible. Seems like enough. Alright, I think that's good enough for now. How long will we need to burn for? A minute. Alright, but it could be lying, we don't know. Okay, so when we get down to about 40-ish seconds, T minus 40 seconds, we'll put up the burners. Actually, we'll make it about T minus 40, uh, 47 or 48, something like that. So we'll increase just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Final countdown, and go for it. Maximum burn. Now, I'll decouple these. Oh, decouple, decouple, decouple. That wasn't good, that wasn't good. No, not good, not good, not good, not good. I should have decoupled them at the same time. But I didn't, because I'm stupid. Shut up. Okay, since we lost the other burners, we're going to have to f fire for longer. At the moment, we are building up speed. This is going to be negative speed when we get out of Kerbin's orbit. Because um, Kerbin has its own orbit around the sun, it's like 9,000 meters, um, meters per second, something like something crazy like that. And if we negify that, <laughs> that's negify isn't a word, we need to go against Kerbin's orbit. And release that, and activate that. I think we should kill this for a while. The, I think the best place to burn fuel is uh, at the apoaps because that's when you're going the slowest. Now we're going bloody fast. Okay, I'm going to wait for us to get all the way around and back to the apoapsis. Which is going to be months away. <laughs> Throw it out. Decrease, 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 decrease. And how close is that? 252 million miles. I don't know. Kilometers, something like that. Pretty bloody far. Sun periapsis. Still pretty damn far away. We need to kill more. More! And it's gone. Okay, that's 6 million meters away from the sun. I think we might impact with the coronasphere at that point. That's like the um, sun's atmosphere. Take it down a tiny bit more. Just a tiny bit. Okay, we're definitely going to touch the coronasphere. If there is a coronasphere in this game, if there is, then I'm absolutely going to love this game even more. We have to burn for 7 minutes. I just hope we have enough fuel for that. Okay, we're coming up now on the burn time on the node. It doesn't look like we moved much, but you know, we're in space. We'll be activating them at the at the four-ish minute mark, just to be safe. Okay, so let's load a little bit more. Jebediah, you're going to be the first to enter the sun, hopefully. If all goes well, you will die this day. <laughs> You don't want to hear that from the command. Okay, we've just passed the five minute mark. We have 40 seconds until burn. And we are going to hopefully land on the sun. I don't know if we've got enough fuel. I just really hope we do. You ready, Jebediah? Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Engage. Okay, we're about to run out of fuel with this thing, and we're nowhere near the necessary speed to get into the... Yeah. Okay, I'm going to be as efficient as possible with this. Okay, we want to be pointing this way. Alright. 
right. And, oh wait, turn this on, and, oh, why are they on? Oh, okay. Put it that way. Back. Back, you bastards. There we go. And N. 41 minutes. We've got to have these bloody things on for 41 minutes. See you guys in 39 minutes. Alright guys, we're almost out of fuel for the uh, <laughs> for the fuel tank. In about 10 seconds we're going to be out of fuel for this puppy. And I hope we've lost enough momentum that the sun, uh, sun's corona sphere catches us. Although, I don't know if the sun actually has a corona sphere in this game. And we're about 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Yep, and we're out. Let's see how our orbit is going. Okay, so, a periapsis is at 2 billion meters. Hmm. It sort of looks like we are actually losing a bit of momentum, although that could just be wishful thinking. Yeah, this is the closest I'm ever going to get to the sun. Let's see. From your perspective. Ah, oh, there you are, sun. Don't blind us. Wow, it's bloody bright. I've got an idea. Let's see. Oh, get out how long it would take for us to be affected by Kerbin's orbit. Okay, oh, it's going to be close this time. But, nah. Okay, guys, I think I've wasted enough of your time. Um, I could stay here for five hours and it would never impact with Kerbin. So, uh, to thank you all for watching, a compilation of explosions. Enjoy.